We have all seen the various trophy rooms by the Predator. In different stories, we can get a glimpse of the different creatures they have hunted. As they visit many planets, they come across many types of life forms. The trophies we've seen in video games, film, and comic books do give us an idea of what else they have hunted, but it's very rare to see this battle take place in a story. We have all wanted to see the Predators fight a Queen Alien, which has been seen in various comic book stories, but what about other creatures just as big or even bigger? Did you ever wonder how a Predator would deal with a dinosaur? What methods would be involved, and what weapons would it use? Well, one encounter like this did happen. It was in the comic book story Tarzan vs. Predator. It was a four-issue crossover released in 1996 by Dark Horse Comics. The story opens up in Africa, with Tarzan responding to a distress call. It's coming from a place called Pellucidor, which is located at the Earth's core. He recounts the time he went there on an expedition to rescue David Innes. They found creatures that were long extinct on the surface, but it was also a place of danger. Someone or something is hunting people and creatures in Pellucidor. So Tarzan and his group rush to a plane and make their way there. Tarzan meets up with the local people and they begin their search, only to come across the bodies of animals. But something is different. They were not killed for their meat. The heads were taken as trophies. As they venture deep into the jungle, they are captured by the Mangani, the great apes. They are taken to meet Jason Gridley, the self-proclaimed emperor of these lands. We later learn that predators captured prey from this land, then bring them to a section of the jungle that is blocked off. The area is enclosed by an electrical force field, and those who are captured are set free and hunted down. Tarzan tries to escape, but is stopped. He is then tied up and given over to the predators as new game to hunt. And this is when the situation escalates. The predators come into contact with dinosaurs, ones that are as big as a T-Rex. You might think the predators are now the hunted, but that's not the case. One of them is taken down by a plasma caster shot. The stomach area takes massive damage and it falls quickly. We also get to see one predator latch onto the other beast. As it climbs on its back, it lunges its wrist blades into the back of its skull. An instant death. Predators are dropped off in the jungle somewhere, and they begin their hunt for Tarzan. But this is no ordinary man. Tarzan grew up in the jungle. He is a natural hunter himself. Tarzan is able to avoid the weapons used by the predator. He even sets a trap for him, and it works. Tarzan defeats a predator and finally sees the face of his enemy. Tarzan would take grenades from the body and use it on other predators near their ship. As a spare grenade goes off, Tarzan falls into a trap door. Now inside an underground passage, he meets up with David Innes, who is still alive. David's people were hunted by the predators, but he escaped by staying in the tunnels beneath the city. The two of them work together and take down another predator in the area. They take its grenades and plasma caster and use it against a few other predators. Tarzan finds the scarf of his wife Jane and vows to never remove it until every last predator is defeated. We also discover that the leader Jason and the others are being mind controlled. The creature with this power is the Mahar, a giant winged lizard. Tarzan and a group would go deep into a secret entrance and find the Mahar, but Tarzan succumbs to its mind-controlling powers. Its ultimate plan is to have Tarzan and Jane rule over the land as the leaders of Pellucidor. Tarzan's might will lead the fight against the Predators. A group that was not under the Mahar's control then invades the area and the Mahar is killed off, which ends the mind control it had over the people. By the end of the story, the humans group up with everyone to defend the land. They hunt down Predators and hang their bodies. These hung bodies are then discovered by the others. This served as a warning. The hunters are now being hunted. The predators return to their ship, and before they plan their next move, Tarzan, the others, and a bunch of dinosaurs storm the ship of the predators. Before they can escape, their ship is pushed off a cliff. It falls to the very bottom and explodes. The predators have been defeated, 
and that's the end of the story. Now, I thought the story was going to be the typical jungle hunt, but in fact, it turned out to have a big twist by introducing other characters and the Mahar. It also gave us a chance to see predators fighting against dinosaurs, even though it was a brief encounter, but overall, the story was pretty good. So, what did you think about it? Did you like it? Tell me in the comment section. If you want to see more videos like this, then subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications. Thanks for watching. My name is Carlos, or Acid Glow, and I'll see you on the next hunt.